Hi guys, Brooke with Cali Quill Keepers. Uh, today I'm just going to show you guys how I'm transi transitioning my uh, greenhouse that I had set up. It was an aviary. I'm going to show you guys still uh, kind of how I had my aviary set up. I just got my uh, brooder tubs in there. So I'll show you guys a tour of that and then show you guys how I set up my brooders. And, um, you know, they're like a week old, but I'm not too concerned. They're feathering out, but it's a lovely day here uh, in Penn Valley in summer. Just kidding. It's actually uh, winter time. It's February, but um, I'm totally stoked to get them out of the house. You know, they can get totally stinky and that sort of thing. So uh, it'll be exciting. And then uh, I'll just show you guys exactly what I use for my brooders. And it can be different than, you know, what other people use, but everybody has a a different method so let's go take a look just to show you guys my cheap little brooder with made with my little rubber made um, tote plastic tote and I got my 250 watt lamp here and then I got my little water with the smaller lip for quail there and then with these little bar feeders I take the top off for the first day or two just so they can find their feed and uh, they won't get stuck in the little holes. Uh, so that's pretty much it. And then I use the blue shop towels down and I'll be using the shop towels for at least a few days. Um, they get pretty messy, so you have to clean them up at least once or twice a day, depending on how many birds you guys got in your brooders. So just wanted to show you my little, uh, brooder setup. I got cheap and easy. All right, just putting the babies in the brooder now. Lots and lots of them. This is uh, my Myshire mix I got, and I know there's quite a few of, of my mix in here as well. So you guys can see the different color variations of the chicks, and once you guys hatch enough colors out, you'll be able to tell you know straight from hatch which uh colors you got so that's pretty cool there's a lot of babies lots and lots of babies move faster here for you guys oh they're happy come on There's a handful. Pretty little chicks. It never gets old hatching them out. And one thing I wanted to mention is when you guys put your water, your waters in here, make sure you use uh, lukewarm water because it could freeze their system. So use lukewarm water to for your waters for at least a few days. Oh, that guy must have just hatched not too long ago. Hey guys, these are my brooders that I'm gonna be using and uh, it's, you know, 100, this one's a 100 gallon uh, watering trough or whatever, but and then here's a smaller one and a little another smaller one but these are going to be my brooders and what i'm going to use actually um to put down is your triple screen uh pine shavings and i'm going to put that down and then um i like to put these little cement circles down um and then put my waters on top because with the pine shavings and stuff they can get inside the lip here and you know it's just nicer to have cleaner water for them and definitely does the job and i just wanted to show you guys that you can actually make um you know these bigger uh ball jars or whatever and put the, the lid on top and if they don't fit properly you can just use a lighter and kind of squeeze down the lip until they fit but that's what i like to use because you can put a little bit more water in them um and then these, this is actually, these guys are what I'm going to be putting on top of my brooders. Uh, they're actually super simple to make. They're just uh, one by, what are those? One by half. Yeah, something like that. 
and then you just use your regular um, uh, hardware cloth or whatnot and then these are the lights I'm going to be using these are 250 watts so that's going to be more than enough to keep them warm through the night and it's going to be uh, over 70 degrees here for the daytime um, for the next at least week and then the lows are going to be about 40 45 so I'm not too worried about putting the babies out here so that's what I use uh, for my brooder so I'm going to set them up and show you uh, how I uh, you know, did it, and I'll be putting the chicks in there, and we'll be looking at babies, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, this is just a little demo, you know, short talk on how you make these things, so uh, just cut out your hardware cloth, you know, measure your wood, and I actually use a staple gun, okay, you guys? Super easy. You want to keep it taut, and then I'm going to run down with my stapler here and it'll be done so it's pretty easy this guy looks like a i don't know i've got the measurements somewhere but this is like three by two two and a half something like that so real easy to make you guys put these on top of your brooders and then you can just set the light out right on top and the babies can't jump out so hope it helps so this is my brooder setup and uh down here I'm using my big bar feeder because there's a lot of chicks and uh, this one here so and then make sure to use your small lipped uh, lids for your waters there anyways they're nice and happy and I got my light there it's got a little clip if you want you know it's good to stabilize it or move it away as you know the days go on and because you want to uh, decrease your heat two degrees three degrees every day from the time that you hatch your chicks out um, so anyways that's my little brooder setup <laughs> 